It was so, it was so good, people. So, as I predicted, I said John Gruden wouldn't be nothing. Not the first year, the second year hasn't came yet. Not the third year, not the fourth year, nothing. And so when I said that, people were like, oh, you tripping. So they based it off the past. You know, uh, events when they went to um, to the Super Bowl with Rich Gannon or whatever, right? Those were that time. Those were those times, which was the game was a lot slower. It was a little less, less athletic. And now the pace and the play, you know, these players are on a whole nother level right now. Not to say that that era... This era is better than the last era. I'm not saying that because last era, to me, the previous, the older era, was better because it was a lot more physical. Um, you know, it was a lot more harder hits. Now, like, they have rules for everything. You look at a person too long, they're going to call it a flag. You know what I'm saying? You accidentally step on somebody's toes, they're going to call it roughing it. The, the player or something they gonna create a rule because they want as less physicality as possible so back to John Gruden John Gruden he was never that good to me and then when you talk about uh, him winning with uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers you gotta remember the team was already assembled they were already there. The players were already there. Like the the Oakland Raiders, the players were already already there. So you didn't have to do much of anything. Not building, not anything. You know what I'm saying? Trent Dilford wasn't that good, but he was good enough. They had a great defense, you know, so you didn't have to do much of anything. And they beat the, the Raiders uh, in the Super Bowl. But that's neither here or there. Now that they have uh, John Gruden, the Raiders. They give him that big 10 year, $100 million contract, right? Now here's the problem with that. They signed him on what he did the previous uh, years, years ago with the, with the Oakland Raiders. They didn't have that same team. But they had an okay team. And they gave him that $100 million contract. But what they should have done, they should have did um, a three-year, $10 million contract or five-year, $5 million contract. That way you're not losing out on the additional $50 million. Okay? So when you get John Gruden, what is the first thing that he did? not advocating for signing uh, Khalil Mack. And I always said, the reason you need to sign Khalil Mack is because the Raiders have never had a great pass rushing team defense. They never had a good secondary defense. They never had a great safety. Remember, Charles Wilson had to go to the safety position. Then you get rid of Khalil Mack the only person that's putting all the pressure on the quarterback. Then you get rid of Irvin. Then you basically uh, trade uh, Cooper, Amari Cooper, to the to the Dallas Cowboys. And you got rid of Irvin. Irvin was a, a good, you know, linebacker. So now. He basically disassembling the defense. Now I want to act like he's in building mode. Now I'm trying to act like the whole purpose was to, you know, draft high in, in, the, in the NFL. The whole thing is he does not have a great strategy for coaching. Well, um, af more athletic, uh, a lot easier type of games like this now. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's been outcoached by everybody. They only, what, one or two and eight? Huh? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not a great coach. I don't understand how people not figuring this out. He's just not a good coach. But if it was me, I would not be sitting there uh, worried because if I get a um, a $10 million a year contract, you know what I'm saying, for 10 years, you know, I wouldn't care what the results were. You know what I'm saying? Like, people living on the past, man, he's not a great quarterback at all. You know, so um, the Raiders, um, the fans, I know a lot of fans who are not no longer Raider fans, and especially being that they're going to the Las Vegas, uh, they're going to be the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, you know, people basically leaving them by the second. People don't even want to watch the Raiders no more because they stink. Then you got a coach who you thought was going to be better. You know what I'm saying? Like Jackson, y'all could have kept Jackson. At least he was 9-7. At least progress was being made. You know what I'm saying? Got rid of him. Derek Carr is not a great quarterback. I don't know why they keep giving this man chance after chance. If I was them, I would have drafted a quarterback to put the pressure on Derek Carr because he's not a good quarterback. I've been telling people this. People, ah, oh, man, you just hating. You just hating. I mean, I don't know why people always tell you your opinion is hating, but I explained and it wasn't out of hate. It was just out of what I saw, what I see, what it's not there, what a lot of people are not paying attention to. Derek Carr is not a great check down quarterback. He's always trying to throw the long ball. He's always trying to create a play that isn't there instead of just throwing the ball out. You know what I'm saying? And he take too many high risk chances. And as a result, there are only one in eight. You know what I'm saying? So the Raiders, man, they just need to figure it out. They need to go ahead and uh, scrimmage a couple of high school teams first. And then, like like De La Salle, they, they in Concord. I think they'll give them a run for their money. And I definitely think Alabama team in general will beat um, the Oakland Raiders. I think they will beat them. You know, but uh, that's all I got for now. It's your boy Ken. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Please share the content. I do not mind. Um, also... I'm getting ready to create a Patreon account. Um, if you want to join that, I will, you know, let you guys know uh, in the near future. Uh, and that's all I got again. I'm out.